Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about one of the worst types of people and of course one of the best types of people to ever grace a theme park and that is of course enthusiasts. Before I get into the video can I please ask you all to like and subscribe it helps the channel up a lot and let's get into the video. Enthusiasts are a very sort of special type of people they can range from drippy to the nerdiest thing you'll ever see at a theme park. Of course, as says previously, roller coaster enthusiasts take many sort of forms. So I'm going to be going over a couple of forms and why I just. Some of the types of roller coaster enthusiasts can be the most annoying people on the planet. And one of the most annoying types of roller coaster enthusiasts is, of course, the it looks slow guy. Now, with many attractions about to open, so they're going to be testing. I'm talking about you, Hyperia. Now, Hyperia has been testing, and now you do get. The occasional guy going, hmm. Yeah, that looks a bit slow. Bear in mind, this is the first ever test run. So of course it's gonna look slow. The wheels will need to warm up. I mean, even look look at Nemesis. That barely made it over its loop when it was testing and now it's flying around. So, you know, they always say it looks slow. They've got nothing to worry about and they just have to wait. They've got no patience. So, you know, that's the first type of person I think is quite annoying. Now the next type of enthusiast I just question is of course the enthusiast with all the merch. Now this is the guy who buys all of the merch of his favourite ride, he spends all the money and you know he just wears it proudly. And you've got to have a bit of respect for this guy because he will wear this merch so proudly and no one will question it. Now the next sort of enthusiast I think is a bit weird is the I'll do anything for a credit guy. Now this sort of guy is a guy who's going to drive maybe you know, 50 miles to this small family amusement park just to get on this little kiddie coaster and he'd be happy of his day. And, you know, fair enough. I mean, it's your choice. But then you also get the guy who hangs out in the family section of the park looking for kids to ride with him. Now, this is because, of course, some of the kiddie coasters, they're only meant for kids, you know, and then you're only allowed on it if you have a kid. So he, lo he doesn't have a kid. He looks for a kid to ride with him. Now, I think this is a bit creepy. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of it. I think if I was to start going around asking kids to ride with me, I'd probably feel a bit like the bald nonce. I'm going to lose my job. So, uh, I don't tend to go around asking kids to ride with me for that case. Now, the next sort of enthusiast we have is the home park lover. Now, this guy is a guy who will praise anything his home park does. He'll say his home park has the best rides in the country. And I came across this guy quite recently on TikTok. Now, this was a guy who um, obviously lived by Flamingo Land, and then he started posting TikToks about, um, is it me or has Fort Park fell off? Yes, just as they're about to open the tallest roller coaster in the country, this guy says they've fallen off. You know, they're terrible. They're not good enough anymore. I, I apologize, Flamingo Land is just 10 times better. They've got, you know, great rides like Hero and and, uh, hmm. Yeah, so, you know, this, this occurrence can happen with many theme parks around the world. You might get the Cedar Point guy who will praise anything Cedar Point does and will then just shit on everybody else. Um, but yeah, you know, this guy's sort of opinions, you know, are quite questionable and, uh, yeah, not really great. Now, last but certainly not least is the guy, of course, with the worst opinions known to man. Now, of course, everybody in the community has their own opinions and, and, you know, that's okay. Except if you're a guy that likes to say, Nemesis is the best roller coaster in the world. Now, it's always the guys that have the worst opinions that will just fight to the death on Twitter or X, shall I say, and they'll just defend that ride until they die, basically. And they will just not back down. And then they'll call you, you know, names and stuff for dissing their ride. And, you know, it just start arguments, really. So... If you're one of those people, just um, please just try and find some uh, brain cells somewhere. It, it would be much appreciated. Now then, guys, that brings me, of course, to the end of the video. It's been a pleasure recording this, taking the piss out of all, all sorts of people. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. And, of course, subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. It means a lot. And without further ado, I've been Speckhead. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>
Moving fresh, exec to render coolest crepes. Man gets spun like Francis Jackson, man gets spun like the room in heck. Mind, who's in check? Oi, Arch nemesis, that's who's in check. Hang tight, all of my dark ride ravers. Hang tight, all of my airtime heads. Stepped into exec 